If a person has a VO2 max of 50 milliliters per kilogram per minute, and they're 50 years old, you know everything you need to know about them. That person wasn't born with a high VO2 max. That VO2 max isn't dependent on their socioeconomic status. It's not dependent on their education. It's dependent on one thing and one thing only, and that is how hard they exercise. That's a person who does quite a bit of aerobic training, and at least some of it is at a high level of intensity. And that is infinitely more valuable than asking somebody, how many hours a week of cardio do you do? Because if you go to a gym, you know what I'm talking about, right? If you survey all the people in the gym and said, how many hours of cardio do you do? Well, you're going to see one woman on the Stairmaster who's killing herself, and you're going to see another guy on the treadmill who's watching the news. And yeah, they're both doing cardio, but they're getting a very different training effect. So again, rather than looking at the inputs, which are much more noisy, you look at the outputs, right? If a person can dead hang off a bar for two minutes, you know they are strong. They weren't born that strong. Uh, they didn't luckily find their way into being that strong. They had to do something to get that strong. And that something turns out to be far more predictive of their longevity.